hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to get the last inserted row ID column in SQL server using three methods one is the scope identity method the second one is the double at the rate identity and the last one is ident underscore current method I'm signing to my GoDaddy account sign in After I log into my little admin for SQL Server, go to databases. In the databases, here are the user databases. I'm expanding the user databases. This is a user database. I'm expanding the tables. This example, I'm taking this EMP table. Open table. In this EMP table, there is three columns. So one is the ID, which is the auto generate column, and the second one is the employee name, and the third one is the occupation. My aim is when I insert a new values like employee name and occupation, I want only to display the record to get the newly inserted row ID. So let's open the query for tools new query I'm using in a new tab insert into EMP values the column names are employee name copy it and the second column name is the occupation Here I am declaring the values, both are the strings, that's why I am using the double single quotes. The first name I am using, Kiran, and his occupation is a software engineer. But when I submit this statement, it will insert the records, but I won't get the output only the row ID. So here, the ID column the last one is a 26 when I insert this record I want to get the only the row ID 27 select scope underscore identity is the method scope underscore identity is a method it gets only the last inserted record row ID as last inserted record I'm submitting now click submit see here the last inserted record is 27 let's check my EMP table let's refresh this page to 27 Kiran and software engineer. Now let's check the second method. Now I'm giving the new values for 28th record. Peter blogger. Instead of scope identity, the second method I want to use double at the rate identity double at the rate identity is a property is used to get the last inserted row ID click submit last inserted record 28 refresh second page see here 28th Peter blogger now we'll check the third method Require select ident underscore current. This is a method, and this method takes a parameter, the table name. The table name is EMP. Submit. See here, I got the twenty-eight. The last ID column is twenty-eight. 
that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos